Hey guys, welcome to CR Entity Designers Chetan here and in this tutorial we are going to do the crazy hard surface modeling. So add a cylinder and vertex should be 10 and delete its bottom words. Now you need to select these words and then connect vertex path. Simple step. And now you will get this 2D plane. Now you need to rotate it into the 90 degree and just scale it down. Fix it at its right position. Now you need to select everything and press I to insert for the insert operation. Before that you need to add a loop cut at the center and then add a bevel on that loop cut because we will delete these faces. So you will get the faces and then you can delete them. Now so delete the inner faces then select everything and then E to extrude. And now you can see we got this 3D form here. Now select these faces and we need to extrude these faces. Before that just you need to snap your 3D cursor to the uh, snap your uh, mesh to the 3D cursor and then select these faces and then extrude these faces. And just add a little bit of bend like a bevel at there tapper i mean and then you can take the symmetry now they select this bottom faces and then extrude this bottom faces along the z-axis and now you can use the x-ray mode to make it and then scale it along the z-axis and give the value zero so you will get the straight face means like a planar shape there then you need to extrude it along the z-axis one more time and now you need to select these faces and then extrude them along the y-axis and now you need to add the two loop cuts right there and we will try to little bit add a variation here so that's why you need to add two loop cuts more and then select these words and then move them along the z-axis and we will manage the edge flow right there so don't worry about it and then add a loop cuts which will support your geometry so now you just need to add a supportive loop cut supportive edges and then we will think about the edge flow so just add the supportive edges which is necessary in the sub d modeling methods and then you can add the sub surface modifier and add few more loop cuts here on the top face top uh, mesh you can say and I like to give the uh, factor amount which the number which I can remember every time so that's why then sh increase the subduing surface more level and now your mesh looks pretty well so just add a loop cut like this and give the factor amount 0 0.008 and add loop cut like this and you can see our edge flow is pretty fine at the top part and not at the bottom part so we need to work on the bottom edge flow so right now everything looks pretty well and just here I tried to get that edge tight but that will uh, be little bit of worryful things uh, you might face little bit of difficulty on your bull circle bullion so that's why we need to we don't need to use this kind of loop cuts you can see the weird shape we are getting there that's that is not a perfect circular shape cylindrical shape so that's why you need can add a loop cut here and one loop cut there and now we can weld the geometry weld the topology in a proper way so select this word and then merge add center and here might you 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 can say this is not the right thing because we are not getting the proper shape at the bottom we will get the proper shape at the top but not at the bottom so just dissolve these edges and let's see how does it look from the all side and you can try different ways on your mesh to get the good topology and good flow edge flow now just select these words and now you need to maintain the edge flow so that's why you need to move these words along its normal and then you can take the symmetry and that's look pretty good we are get the right curvature there and you can see that's why i was saying that we are not getting a good edge flow at the bottom because we merge those words at the center from the bottom side also we don't want that so just uh, we need to repeat the process so add a loop cut here add a loop cut there 
and now you need to merge the word now you need to create the re, uh, recreate that the last part and now you need to merge the words here uh, because we want to weld these edges so just merge these words at the center and at the back side you have to merge the words not at the bottom side then you will get the right uh, shape for your mesh so select these words and then merge them at the center means you can merge the three words together and now you can see that's the right edge flow and the right mesh shape for our mesh and you can try uh, adding loop cuts but that which will deform your mesh the shape of your mesh and that's why you can avoid this loop cuts if it's necessary then you need to adjust the workflow right there in the circle one more time so i feel that i can keep it as it is okay now we i will show you the one trick to get the sharper edge on your mesh so just you need to select these faces so you can get that hard edge on your mesh which looks pretty well sometimes it's totally depend on your mesh so that's why you need to select these faces like this okay and now you can see we have selected these faces and just select these faces also and then press I to insert and give the thickness amount 0 0.005 is enough and now you can see just we need to take here symmetry so take the symmetrize mesh symmetrize and choose the right axis and you can see we got that hard surface hard edge on our mesh so we can do the same trick here on the top part so just select these faces you can select these face rings and then press i to insert and give the power effect uh, thickness of 1.005 and now you can see our mesh looks pretty well and just i want to save this file so i forgot it So now then you can add loop cuts here and then you can create a little bit of variation on your mesh which is totally depend on you if you want to create then otherwise it's fine. And now you can see just I have added one loop cut here then select these faces and then insert these faces then one more time insert this and use the loop tool and make it to the circle and then you can uh, scale it down that circle then insert that circle then extrude inside that circle then one more time insert this circle and now you can see we got the right boolean right there which looks pretty well and you can see our mesh looks pretty well decent kind of hard surface modeling we have done here thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe my youtube channel bye bye see you in the next video take care